Hi, I am Jake from Boys of Fall, um, and today I'm going to be running through some of the gear I use for both guitar and my vocals. So my main guitar right here, it's a uh, Reverend uh, Jetstream 390. So uh, Reverend is a local company uh, closer to where we live. It's actually in uh, um, what is it, Finley? Oh, where, where, where's Reverend located? Sylvania, <laughs> Ohio. Um, they're an awesome company, uh, super gracious to have a deal with them. Uh, so this is my main model. Uh, I got the maple rosewood neck, uh, uh, roasted maple, and uh, the string locks up here, keeping everything in tune. Uh, my pickups that are on here are a, a triple P90 setup, and I love them. I'm mostly using this guy and potentially gonna invest in some more um, higher end rail hammer pickups, which are uh, available through Reverend Guitars, right here is my uh, volume right here. Uh, I typically keep it on the Bridge P90 pickup. It just gets the, um, for, for all my distorted channels, it just gets the cleanest and punchiest tone uh, for our rhythm guitar. Um, occasionally, especially for our recordings, when I uh, record uh, any lead or any clean stuff, uh, I'm gonna use the neck one, I'm gonna flip it up. And uh, I'm not really going to adjust with the uh, um, treble and bass roll off much at all. Uh, I pretty much just keep them all fully cranked, but uh, this guy right here is the only thing I uh, kind of need to switch through. Do the neck pickup or neck pickup and the bridge pickup. Um, I keep this guitar uh, always strung with uh, Ernie Ball strings. Thank you, Ernie Ball. Uh, never would play any other string. They actually just came out with these uh, hybrid sets. They're called Ultra Slinkies. Um, I was running Power Slinkies, which is 11 to uh, 48, but the uh, is it 1148? It's 1152. Yeah. 11 yeah. <laughs> but uh, I like it a little bit lighter up here. Um, I, I play a lot of full six phrase chords, so um, this is like just perfect for my fingers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. And the other guitar that I'm running right here is a Fender uh, American Professional Limited Edition uh, Telecaster. Uh, it's equipped with two uh, Fender Shogun humbuckers, which I'm in love with. This is like Honestly, one of my dream guitars, and I'm super happy to have picked it up. Uh, the neck is a uh, rosewood neck, and it's all one piece, which is really cool. Um, through body strings, and uh, I love the uh, engraved instead of printed. Love it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, my other main guitar, and I love this guy. So I, I typically use the uh, bridge uh, humbucker here. Um, it honestly gets a really similar tone than the P90 on my Jetstream, so I try to keep my tone universal uh, so there's not too much fluctuation if I have to switch guitars. Um, I keep uh, pretty much um, all the uh, treble, I keep the treble down just a little bit because it does get a little bit bright, so I want to keep it a little bit more full and allow the lead to pop through a little bit more. But other than that, um, yeah, mostly sitting on this pickup right here. For my acoustic, I run a Taylor 110 CE. It is actually an older model. I picked it up uh, even before I joined this band. Um, I've bought in like Martins and other guitars and other acoustic guitars just because I'm, I'm a big acoustic guy. Uh, me and my vocalist do a lot of acoustic covers and uh, I do my own acoustic gigs every once in a while. So I'm really attached to this guitar. I've actually, I think I bought two or three after it and I end up selling them uh, because I have never really vibed with the guitar the way I vibed with this one, but I always keep this equipped with uh, Elixir Polyweb strings, uh, super coated, and it just feels super smooth, and it, uh, a lot of uh, Elixir strings kind of have a bright tone, and the Polyweb actually kind of dampens it a little bit, so it's uh, not too bright, and it mixes well with the vocals. But yeah, this is my, uh, this is my baby. Most of our set we play in either E standard or drop D, um, but uh, my Kemper that I run, we actually have multiple banks on there that we switch between tunings. Uh, anywhere from a full step up to, uh, you know, D standard will go. Uh, but I don't actually tune the guitars at all to just streamline a live process and I don't have to have much breaks, which makes it really easy to uh, keep the set flowing. Uh, but yeah, E standard and drop D is where I pretty much write all my stuff. So these are the picks that I run. They're your basic just celluloid uh, medium picks. Um, I, for a lot of like learning how to play guitar, I've always just gravitated towards like just this classic Fender celluloid pick. So when we finally uh, started working with in-tune guitar picks, which makes the guitars, I was not going to change my pick preference at all. Got a little custom Boys of Fall logo on there with band nickname. In-tune guitar picks always uh, hooking us up.
But yeah, that's my preferred pick. I also sing on stage. I am background vocalist and kind of a second vocalist. And uh, my vocalist uses a uh, wireless beta, uh, Shure Beta 58.8. So I actually run the exact same mic, just not wireless, because I'm kind of restricted with my guitar. Um, honestly, it's the same thing. I like I always use the Shure SM58 for the longest time, but uh, as a vocalist and especially someone that wants to hear vocals a little bit more over my guitar, uh, having the Shure Beta just kind of give me that extra high-end boost and makes it a little bit more punchy so I can hear my vocals even over my mix. Uh, but yeah, Shure, Shure Beta 58A, my favorite mic, and I uh, don't know if I'm going to be uh, switching anytime soon. <laughs> All right, so for our, our in-ear, my, my in-ear setup, uh, I run a uh, JH16V2. Uh, uh, JH uh, it is a 10-driver uh, in-ear. Uh, it's got four low drivers and four high drivers, two mid drivers. Uh, I picked this model in particular because uh, as a vocalist and guitar player, I really want you know a good high-end boost so that I can hear my vocals, but uh, to keep make sure I'm like my guitar stays balanced with the bass on the low end and I can hear a really full mix. Uh, having the four low drivers really helps me personally so that um, I have a very like very like recording like mix like it's very similar to like how I would sing to music in a car. Um, but uh, these are my uh, Galaxy designs, JH signature designs. Um, got the custom uh, molded, had to go in and get my ears molded to uh, get these all working so uh, I run these through the same system as everybody else, uh, the Be Behringer 32X32, and um, I uh, personally keep my vocals really prevalent in my mix, uh, mostly because I'm doing a lot of harmonies, so mine and my lead vocals, uh, like, I have him, like, a little bit below me and just me over him, so like, I kind of step away from the mic when I sing so I can make sure I'm controlling volume behind him, and then uh, I keep bass really pretty pretty loud pretty prevalent in my mix because uh I, bass kind of helps me like feel the key and the pitch and everything and uh helps me stay in key helps me uh focus a lot on how my guitar fits over it and uh me and uh, my bass player follow a lot of the same patterns when we play so always got to be uh listening in on the bass and the uh lead vocalist most of the time for our cabs we actually we previously did run orange 412s but uh we didn't really feel the need for that much power and these things uh, they just came out with a line of these vertical 212s which I'm in love with also they're 44 pounds like you can't beat that uh, super easy to pick up uh, they got a bottom right and top left celestial speakers in it and uh, I wouldn't go with any other uh, any other cab this is my favorite cab I've ever owned in my life and uh, I love the sleek black look uh, orange logo I always love seeing it and uh, yeah. <laughs> For my guitar, I actually run a uh, Line 6 wireless G90. Um, I've, I've had a lot of problems with wireless systems, just guitar cutouts and stuff, but me and my guitar player both run them, and you can actually daisy chain the signals in the back to keep the frequencies more, uh, more restricted, and we actually started doing that this tour, and no problems, uh, and it's super sleek, only takes up one new rack space, and uh, I love the G90. Uh, I have that routed down here. So the Kemper I run is actually the one all the way down here. This is the Kemper profiler and it is the craziest piece of equipment we own. Uh, so uh, we all run different uh, tones, like me and my lead uh, guitar player run different tones. Uh, so I have the pedal right here that comes in through it. And so Right here is where I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to go up in banks, uh, depending on what tuning uh, where a song is in, whether it's a full step from E standard or a, you know, a half step up, half step down, whatever I need to do. And uh, so I actually run for my channel one, it's going to be a clean tone. Uh, I've been really fond of the uh, Fender Superverb amp sim that comes out of the Kemper. Uh, it sounds phenomenal live. Um, and then my main rhythm tone that is, you know, the distorted guitar that uh, is in all of our stuff and even the recordings uh, right here on number three. Uh, I actually use a orange rocker verb because love our orange stuff and running the cabs and it sounds beefy, great and perfect for, uh, for a clean rhythm pop punk tone. Um, I have a couple other profiles here, like uh, 
in, in a lot of our recordings live, we have uh, you know a lo-fi guitar part or stuff that kind of cuts out from the main mix and it becomes lo-fied and really like underwater. So right here is the channel that I use for to, to emulate that like effect live. A lot of bands I know typically will just kind of throw a sample in there, but we kind of just like want to play, so we uh, we run like a lo-fi tone as well, and uh, that's that's basically the uh, Kemper rundown for me. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in for my live setup. Uh, again, I'm Jake from Boys of Fall. Huge shout out to Orange Amps, Reverend Guitars, Intune Guitar Picks, Ernie Ball Strings, JH Audio In Ears, and uh, Kemper for uh, helping us out and making sure our sound is consistent every night. Make sure you check out our uh, new album, Better Moments, uh, on all platforms uh, and uh, purchase any uh, albums previously through the In Vogue uh, Records channel. And uh, thanks for tuning in.